Hey Magic Me on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. We knew that there was going to be some shakeup in Vintage and Legacy. And we knew in Legacy we were going to lose Luris. That's a given. Luris was absolutely everywhere. Uh, we actually also lost another companion as well, but of course Luris got banned. Fair enough, easy enough. If you're like me and you actually follow the Vintage metagame, then you know that Luris is also everywhere there, but Vintage is a weird case. See, Vintage has not just a ban list, but a restricted list. Cards that are only allowed as one-ups at most. So cards are banned in Vintage based on a different set of criteria. Basically, it's, let me see if I remember, it's uh, Annie's. So cards that or offer, require you and or your opponent to offer up a card back when Annie was a thing. It, no. Uh, conspiracies, which were not meant for constructed magic. Dexterity cards, which I think is just Chaos Orb and Falling Star, if I remember correctly. Shahrazad, <laughs> which is dumb. <laughs> it's one of my favorite cards in Magic, but no, that, that should never be legal in constructed play ever. Anything that involves subgames, just no. Okay. And then other than that, Yes, other than that, cards do not actually get uh, banned in Vintage. For reference sake, Black Lotus, a zero mana artifact that sacks for th to make three mana of any color you choose, is only restricted, it's not banned. Ancestor Recall, one mana, draw three cards, is restricted, not banned. They don't ban cards for power level. Except, maybe they do. Maybe. So, Luris actually got banned in Vintage. Here's the actual announcement itself. In the weeks following the release of Ikoria, we've observed a rise in the popularity and win rate of Vintage decks using Luris of the Dream Den as a companion. Because of the nature of Vintage's wide card pool and powerful restricted cards, the deck building cost imposed by Luris, which, pause, let me, let me remind you, is just, your permanents have to be CMC 2 or less. Doesn't apply to non-permanent, so you can still run cards like Force of Will, for instance. Um, is less restrictive relative to the payoff of having Luris as a companion. As a result, the win rates of several archetypes using Luris have surpassed 55% in Magic Online League play. And collectively, decks using Luris are representing too large of a portion of the metagame, with no indication of a shift away from this trend. Yet, yeah, turns out as the card pool gets bigger and bigger and bigger, companions get stronger and stronger. You have access to more of those cards, and it's very hard to hate on a companion. Something like Dredge, you have cards like Grafter's Cage, <laughs> Rest in Peace, uh, those sorts of things. With companions, there's very little you can do. Alright. Therefore, Luris of the Dream Den is banned in Vintage. We recognize that it's a rare occurrence... Pause. Uh, to ban a card for balance reasons in Vintage, rather than restricting it. Pause. There's the pause. Uh, by rare, non-existent. Unless somehow they're counting Charizard? Well, that's not really balance. No, it's this would be the first instance. So, to me, it feels like a violation of the spirit of the format. But, this is a unique case where restricting Luris wouldn't affect its usage as a companion, which is the primary motivation for making this change. Luris is already a one-of in people's sideboards. And in fact, you can't run extra copies of Luris, unless for some reason you're throwing them in the sideboard. Luris is a three-mana legendary creature. And remember, the restriction is CMC two or less. You actually can't run Luris in the deck and use it as your companion. So restricting does actual, factual nothing to Luris. Now, there are other cards like Bullis Citadel, for instance. Bolsa Citadel is already a one-of in Storm decks. You tinker for it, and then you just play a billion spells, and your opponent is done, and ta-da. Okay, there's nothing that restricting Bolas' Citadel would do, because it's already only run as a one-of, but in that case, Vintage just kind of has to adapt. It's a really powerful card. It's one of the best enablers in the format, and Vintage has just had to accept it. It's just how it is. But with Luris, it's considerably stronger. <laughs> if that many decks, that percentage of decks are running Luris, 
it is way higher than those that are running, say, Bullis Citadel. So instead of just restricting Luris, again, does nothing, they decided to ban Luris instead. But they didn't ban all companions, so it's not, say, a, a mechanical thing. Well, we think that, like Charizard, companions violate one of the rules of the game enough that we're just not going to allow that anymore. No, it's only Luris. Now, that's not to say that they couldn't at some point change that to be all companions. But for the time being, it looks like a power level thing. Hence, Luris being singled out. I've had a short talk with Joseph Dyer from MTG Goldfish, does the Vintage 101 series, and Joseph doesn't think that it's an example of uh, a violation of the spirit of the format. I'd be interested in reading his thoughts on that. Be sure to check it out. But to me, this seems like it has to be. Uh, when I say the spirit of the format, you just adapt. The format has to adapt when something broken gets put in. And maybe a restriction will come, but if restricting doesn't do anything, you just adapt. But that doesn't look like what's going on here. So, there's my, there's my spiel, I suppose, about Luris and Vintage, and banning a card in Vintage. Okay, that's it. Take care, Magic Community. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. One more little anecdote. One more. Okay, okay. So, I say banned in Vintage, but actually, if you go onto Watsi's website, and I, I refresh the page right before I hit the record button, it's actually featured on the restricted list for... <laughs> for uh, the website itself, where it shows you the Vintage ban and restricted list. Luris is featured as a restricted card, even though the announcement says banned. Um... It's just a typo. Of course it is. <laughs> but uh, if it were just two pieces of conflicting information, go with the one that has a lot more reasoning behind it, and the official announcement obviously does. And it's an official announcement. But I find that my favorite indicator of it being a violation of the spirit of the format, because you only restrict cards unless they break the game in a weird way. And... So whoever was typing that in thought, huh, it's it's a card that we're having to do something about in Vintage, and then they just, force of habit, I suppose, autopiloted it on res the restricted list. <laughs> whoever you are, shout-outs to you. <laughs> all right. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. So... I was just informed by Dr. Rich Shea and the aforementioned Joseph Dyer that actually we have had cards banned in Vintage. Actually banned. And I don't mean the Charizard, Falling Star, Chaos Orb, Annie's conspiracies. I mean uh, Mind Twist and Channel apparently were actually banned in Vintage at one point. Obviously they're now restricted. Uh, they both came off of that banning onto being restricted back in 2000, though. So, to me, it still feels... I mean, that was 20 years ago. It feels like the format has had enough time to solidify a different philosophy. But, I am apparently wrong. <laughs> this is one of those instances where, uh, like, what I say, if you guys have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, anything like that, no, I mean it. I like being shown that I'm wrong because now I know more. I learned more about my favorite format in one of my favorite games. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep, there we go. It still feels wrong to me. But that's just like my opinion, man. <laughs> there is actually a precedent for banning cards in Vintage. And in the case of Mind Twist and Channel, I, I think you can make a case that both of those kind of violate the way that we expected the game to play back then, but not like Charizard, not this sort of like outside of the game itself because we're making sub-games. They're really powerful because they break rules regarding how many cards you could have in your hand, effectively, and how much mana you had access to. And I guess Luris is kind of doing the same thing, but then, by extension, all of the companions are doing the exact same thing. They're sort of violating one of the rules of the game. 
shoutouts to getting all of the companions banned at some point, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. In the meantime, I guess I'll brew with Umori in Jewel Shops because shoutouts to Rukulin, one of my commenters, she mentioned, yeah, your deck you did a deck tech about, it incidentally includes all artifacts, so you can just run Umori. Companions are stupid. <laughs> Companions are so stupid. Alright, take care, Magic. Bye-bye. <laughs>